Your relationship with white supremacy is never permanent. And this is why I don't understand why black people sell out their people, because sooner or later you're going to get sent back to the same people who you turned on. Yeah. It is always that way. But the problem is most of us as black parents raise our children to be sellouts. What do we tell our kids? Go to school, get a good job, and get the hell out of here. You don't teach your kids racial loyalty. Jewish children are taught loyalty to the community. Italian children are taught loyalty to that Italian flag. East Indian children are preached loyalty before they come here. Don't nobody come to America looking for integration. If they cared about integration, what they got a Chinatown for? If they cared about integration, why is there a little Italy, little Korea, little Cambodia, little Arabia? Where's little Africa? No damn where. Own nothing and happy not to own nothing. Got a nerve to go back to the Chinese store you've been shopping at for 50 years and you short five cents. <laughs> you've been shopping there since you was five, now you're 50. You are short five cents and what did they make you do? Go get it. No can do. <laughs> And you said white supremacy going to fall, white supremacy going to fall, white supremacy going to fall, white supremacy is going to fall, but what's going to be replaced with Chinese supremacy? You think that's going to be even better? Arab supremacy? You think that's going to be even better? You praying and wishing white supremacy away, but you better recognize what's coming right after it. Why ain't you trying to put yourself in a position so you could do something about it? 